the channel, Rich here from Creating a Simple Life, and today we're going to talk a little bit about pergo flooring. I'm putting together a little video here on how uh, I did the job. Even though pergo is very simple and easy to install, uh, it can be a pain in the neck when it gets to be at the top of a stairs where there's already an existing bull nose. So, Kathy and I, you know, we went shopping, we went to the Home Depot, we found a floor that we liked, and then we found out that they don't stock the bull nose, and we ordered the bull nose, and it was the wrong color, and then... Uh, long story short, I bought and returned three floors and sets of moldings and bullnose for the stairs before we finally found something that would work and which still doesn't quite match, but it is what it is. So, so I'm not saying that this is a, uh, a tutorial on how to do it. Well, if it's the right way or the wrong way how to do it, I'm just going to show you how I did it. And in the end, it came out okay. So thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing and enjoy the video. job here at the top of the stairs and I thought I'd make a little video of some of my aggravation you know you buy the pergo and everything and you trim pieces and everything but what you want to try and do is find a piece of bullnose for the stairs which is nearly impossible this stairs already has a bullnose on it but the pergo will not work that way so we'll go, I went and after searching ordering about three or four different types of perg of uh, laminate flooring bullnose I got about a pile of three now that I have to return. I came up with this one here, it's a vinyl. And the thing is, we'll go over the bullnose that we have. Will I be able to cut the other bullnose out of the way? I'm not sure exactly. I'm gonna film the way I do it, but not necessarily the right way to do it, but it's how I'm gonna do it. I found this that kind of matches what we got. As close as possible. Home Depot doesn't have any of them in stock. And every time I order one, it's the wrong color. So, this is what we got. I'm going to have to take out this existing bull nose and try and make something happen. Alright, so I cut with the little vibrating saw the edges because the molding was actually under there. I'm trying to pry it out of here. There was a couple of screws. Trying to hold the camera and do this. It's not fun. All right, so now. So basically I'm gonna have to rip this down to fit and then put it back on and put a flat edge on the edge of this so this thing will line up against it like so I don't know if you could see but that's what we got so I'll make a pencil mark there at the edge and just rip it down on the table saw and I'm going to have to put this back in place and then put the other piece on put the piece of trim, cut the floor to it and move along all right, there's no turning back now. I cut the rounded bull nose off the edge of this piece of trim and I'm gonna have to put it back in. And then the other piece will hang right over it. Should work. Alright, 
so I got the track in there. Pro goes all to it, and now we're gonna get ready to put this bull nose in. I cut this original piece, put it back, stain the face of it just in case any of it shows, and uh, we'll hope for the best. We'll see if we can get this piece of bull nose in. get one shot at this because if you ruin it and have to pull it out we'll uh, pretty much ruin the vinyl telling you if this is the right way to do it or a tutorial on how to do it I'm just showing you the way that I did it looks good so that's pretty much it all in all the whole way came out pretty good the missus likes it so that's all that really matters I guess the point of this video is that if you ever are going to do a DIY project, laminate flooring, vinyl flooring, something like that, uh, that you make sure all the trim pieces are available when you buy everything. Um, that's what made this project take twice as long. We ended up buying three different floorings and all kinds of moldings and uh, this is what we ended up with. So how about you? Have you ever done a project with a laminate flooring and then realized that there was no trim pieces available? Have you ever put down a pergo floor? and use a piece of vinyl trim for a stair bullnose. In the comments below, I'd really like to hear from you. And if you like this video, why not hit that like button? And don't forget to subscribe. It really helps the channel. We appreciate you watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Thank you.